This is the plaintiff, Marie Rabin. She says she was walking her dog when the defendant's pit bull got loose and mauled her dog. The defendant apologized profusely on the day of the incident, but now, five months later, she's having one heck of a time getting him to pay the vet bills. And that's why she's suing for $1,848. This is the defendant, Peter Martin Connolly. He says the plaintiff's dog was the aggressor, came over to his fence and started attacking his dog, which was on his property. And just for the record, his dog is not a pit bull, it's a bulldog. Bottom line, his dog was just defending himself in his own yard, so he owes nothing. He is accused of doing some doggy damage. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for vet bills and harassment. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Lavin, you are suing Mr. Connolly for $1,848 in vet, bill, vet bills and pain and suffering. You are counterclaiming against her $5,000 in harassment and medicine for your dog for your dog's injuries. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Connolly, so let me hear first from Ms. Lavin. Tell me what happened. Hi, I was walking my small corn terrier um, in my neighborhood at the beach. Clopas what kind of dog? Corn terrier, like Toto. Like Toto, okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, we usually do, we go for a walk uh, around the neighborhood. It's about a mile and a half walk. I was passing the beach and as I was passing the beach, the two girls who are working at the beach gate, said to me, uh, be careful, there are three pit bulls out. And I said, oh, okay. Uh, my witness is the mother of one of the girls. And I said, where are they? And they said, right up there. And I looked at them and I said, two of those are puppies. I said, they're out running around on the road. I did you know where they lived? And Lauren said to me, the girl working at the beach said, yes, a house up, about three houses up. Uh, I said, well, we should get them back because they're going to get hit. So she was a little so afraid. So you called animal control, right? Well, they were puppies. We yeah, didn't so call you called ad animal control, right? Afterwards. Yeah, right. Afterwards. You have three pit bulls on the loose, and you decide that you're going to help out, well, which is lovely. I have been in your shoes. Two of and them, I have lived to regret it just like you do. Do puppies have a mom? You were going to bring the puppies back to the mom. Well, I and the mom is probably a pit bull. <laughs> well, right? wouldn't the mother be Had upset to... they were out running around? Oh yes, and she was going to be so relieved when you brought them back because she would totally understand the setup and the situation. How did the pit bulls get out? The there were holes in the fence. Exactly. So there's a way for animals to get out of the place where you're bringing this, these puppies back to. Right. Like you're putting in, you're connecting the dots now about how crazy that was. It's totally well intentioned. Okay, but kind of crazy, right? I guess. Especially with a dog in your hands. It never occurred to me till just now that it was crazy, but. Really? <laughs> you, are you two her friend? Oh, no, no, the, the okay. check was, it, that occurred Did to me. Did anybody but... else tell you you're taking puppies to a mama? It's like when you, oh, look, there's a little bear. Believe it or not. Here, where's the mama bear? Let me find it and bring it to the mama bear. No, I cannot be the first person in your life who told you that you were not. Not even the policeman who made the report to you said that. Uh, it's Honestly. Just, that's lovely. <laughs> but uh, I gotta tell you, it's, but anyway, Anyway, so go ahead. All right, well, two of them were puppies. One of them was an adult dog out on the road. Uh, we picked the two puppies up. Who's Lauren we? Lauren and I, the girl One of the girls? at the beach. Okay. Lauren's mother's here. So you guessed what happened. We brought them back to this hole in the fence and I thought I was doing a good thing by keeping the puppy safe and returning them back under the fence. Where was the hole in the fence? In the gate that opened up onto the driveway. It was a the, gate that covered the whole For cars or for pedestrians? Cars. Okay. And obviously it was not well maintained because there are holes in it. Um, and as I was putting the puppy back into the hole, through the hole, which I assumed it escaped from, uh, the dog inside the gate went berserk and easily broke out of the gate and attacked my dog. I tried to scoop up my dog and in the process of trying to get him safe, uh, I was bitten. My do you know dog which dog bit you? Hmm? Do you? Do you happen to know which dog bit you? Well, the big dog. Okay. I mean, I don't 
know that okay. what it is. Okay. Um, it was a whitish kind of a dog, pit bull. My dog managed to escape that and ran down the road. And then the dog that was actually out on the street, the adult pit bull, or the third one, right. who was out on the street, chased him down and pretty much finished the job. The only reason- Is your, Did your dog die? No, the only reason he didn't is because, thank goodness, a pickup truck, and I didn't get the man's name, saw what was happening, and he came right to where we were, and it distracted that pit bull just enough. And I was able to scoop my dog up. He said, climb in. I did. He took us back to my house. Uh, I was so shaken up, I forgot to get his name. I put my dog inside, made him comfortable, uh, jumped back in my car and went back to the scene because I left the girl there. The, who, her daughter? Yes. Okay. Lauren. Um, the dog's obvious. War, didn't seem to be after Wait, us. Wait, you left? How old's your daughter? Could stand 18. on up. Come on up. And Lauren isn't here today. Lauren no, is not I have here. a statement from her. Okay. So when you went in the truck, you left Lauren, a 15-year-old, in the mayhem with the pit bull frenzy? Well... <sighs> I, my dog was down the block. I chased him down no, the I know block. No, I know, yes. I know, but if well, I'm Lauren's like, mom, I'm a, I'm a little well, concerned that you're leaving Lauren to the pit bulls and make, taking care of your dog. It just well, gets one worse. Of them, one of them was definitely near us, and I definitely, after I jumped in the truck, realized I had done that. If I'm Lauren and I see you driving away with the dog and leaving me with a mess of pit bull, I, I, I don't know what I would do. We, well, I would be honest. I had to run around, like a hairpin turn, around the hairpin turn to catch my dog. So I couldn't even honestly see around the hairpin turn. You've forgotten that. about Lauren? No, I didn't forget about her. I was just... <laughs> we need to get off this topic because you are just digging yourself deeper into the Lauren hole. Another here. neighbor came out with their car. Thank God. Who my right. daughter didn't know. She's like, do I go to a strange car or do I get attacked? She went to the strange car. Yeah, that's what I did. And jumped in his car and he was able to get her to safety. Okay. How, how long? So how did you find Lauren? Well, I went back to the beach okay. and found that she was home. She, she left the scene. And I saw that the pickup truck was back. And behind him was another truck. And that's the defendant. Right. Um, stopped? Stopped. Both cars were stopped. And okay. the pit bull, the third one, was still running around. Okay. Uh, that pit bull was, somehow got into his car. To his car. That's how yes. you know it was, he was the owner. Okay. Yes. And he approached me. And I said, your dog's just attacked my dog. He's bleeding. I'm bleeding. Uh, your gait is totally inadequate. And you have to fix it. And he says, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. In the meantime, when all this was happening, I didn't see him anywhere around until it was all over. Did you take the dog to the vet? Yes. All right. Do you yes. have the vet bills? Yes. Do you have pictures of the dog's injury? Yes. Hand them over, please. Sir, what's going on? How many, how many dogs do you have? I have four. Four. Four Five. pit bulls? Uh, first of all, Mama is not a pit bull. She's an American bulldog, and she has terrier in there. And Mama is a big... Is Mama the name of your dog? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the fight. I was in the side, inside my house interviewing a possible roommate for 10 minutes. Usually when I come home, I close the driveway gates immediately, and the raccoons to the small hole. Well, but if the hole was big enough for the adult dog to get out and two of the puppies to get out. Well, my neighbor told me that her dog instigated the fight and mama was just trying to protect her puppies. No, but my question is, how did three dogs get out? They told you your three dogs got out, right? Okay. Is that through the raccoon holes you're telling me about? Yes. Can I see a picture of your dogs? And Mama loves all other dogs, cats, birds, especially children. She's a big cream puff. Cream puff? <laughs> she's, she's not a pit bull. I know pit bulls I don't get think a she's a pit bull or, or, or a, a chihuahua or a poodle. OK, thank you, Mama. Thank you. You have holes in your fence that allowed three animals to get out. And why is that OK? Well, usually, I, when I come home, I close the driveway gates immediately due to harassment of another neighbor. Do you have a picture of the fence with the holes in it? Do we have the picture? Yes. 
I took that photo. I mean, the holes in the well, fence are not something you can holes. close. There's something you need to repair. How long had they been there? Uh, when did the raccoon make the hole? About a year. When they not ate. the dogs. The dogs didn't do it. No, the raccoon no, did. No. Okay. Okay. So I see what's going on. These are. This is a chain link fence that goes only so far down. And then you have the plastic strips that go in and out. The privacy slides. And then the, the, some of the plastic strips are missing on the right. bottom because something has bit them to try to get out or get in. Um, did you, when you talked to him and he was apologetic, did you submit the bills to him at some point? Uh, when I talked to him, it was right after. And he said, well, I know about dogs. He said, let me look at the dogs. So I said, okay. And he followed me back to the house, myself in my car, he in his car. And he looked at the dog and said, oh, a little bacitracin should fix that. I'll pay for the bacitracin. And I said, I think it needs a little more than that. Um, and we sort of left it at that. And so you took the dog to the vet and what did the vet do? The vet had to anesthetize him and he was stabled in eight places. What does stabled in eight places mean? It means his cuts were so deep that they had to be stapled back oh, together. Oh, stapled? Yes. So when I left him there, I went to the doctor. Because you had been This bit. was the next morning, and my arm was all swollen, oh, and I had infected, been bitten. Right? Uh, it was an infection. You should have gone to the ER the day before so you could Sunday get some antibiotics. Night, I was bitten. The ER's open on Sunday. They didn't tell you didn't get the memo? That's the concept <laughs> behind an ER. I was in shock and I didn't have anyone to drive me. Well, I you was... should have gotten that guy's number, that pickup truck. <laughs> yeah. So why have. are three dogs getting out of I your gate? Him. Why don't you fix your gate so people don't have to be terrorized by by three dogs that are loose? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So is the defendant responsible if the dogs get out through Raccoon? Yeah. Why? Because it's his fault. It's, Why is it his fault? It's his dogs. His dogs, but what, what did he do wrong if they escaped through Raccoon? He let his dogs outside. Okay, but you're allowed to say you have a dog in a backyard. Why is he responsible? Well, he should be making sure that his yard is uh, safe for the dog to stay in and that he can't get out. That's part of a responsibility of having a dog. Fair point. I agree. Okay, I agree, it was really quick. Going inside the courtroom. Mama was just doing her motherly duties, trying to protect her puppy against her barking, annoying dog, which started the fight. Your dog, mama got out in order to attack that dog when she was trying to return the puppies who were roving the street who might get run over. It broke out of the gate to come and get the person who was putting the puppies back. Had you put both puppies inside already? No. You we put never one had the puppy chance. and then I don't think puppy. I got either one I, in. I, I'd like to ask you, what fault do you have in any of this by not repairing your gate and maintaining it in a way that your animals don't roam loose? Because usually I, I block my driveway gates with other gates, my garbage cans. Is this the first time your animals get out through those holes? Yes. I, I, Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Yes, no. ma'am. No, they've been out before, and we have proof right here from the Rocky Point Community newspaper that on September 1st, they were running loose. Let's see. And Somebody put, it was on Facebook. I downloaded all the pages with pictures of the dogs. When did this event happen with you? Uh, August 16th. So they were, they were photographed also on August 30th. What's saying you to all this? And September 1st. Maybe once or twice while I was opening the gate or closing the gate, but they always come right back in. Mama stays by my side all the time. Are you getting it that it's not about you, that it's about whether or not your dogs get out and, and frighten and or bite and or harm other people, that the law is that you have to contain your animals? Mama got out, so what is it you're talking about? I have no issue with mama. Mama's doing exactly what mama's supposed to do. Thank the you. one who's not doing it is you. Do you understand? It is not about the animal's behavior. What I am talking about is you, your behavior. You are a thinking person with connected brain cells who understands that you're supposed to keep humanity safe from your four animals, pitbulls or not. You're supposed to keep them contained. It means your animals can't get out and they got out and they bit her and they attacked her animal. Where are you responsible for any of this? Anywhere in your head or nowhere? 
No, I am 100% responsible. Yes, you are. So explain to me how you have a counterclaim against her for $5,000. Because when I went back to her house and checked on her dog, her, her arm was still blood, and she didn't even bother to treat her animal immediately. She didn't even bother to wash her hand. No, she had to come back to the scene and start this whole big commotion in Brooks. I had to come back and... So, do you think you need to answer? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding? Am I hearing what I'm hearing? I need you to join us on planet Earth. <laughs> Honest to God. Honest to God. I am going to order you to pay the $628 in vet bills resulting from the injuries of that dog that ended up having to be stapled. Do you have a picture of your wound? Yes. Uh, I just have oh, a I'm picture. Oh, I'm sorry. Douglas, when you're done. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Did that hurt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For quite a while. Yes. Yeah. That had to hurt. Yeah. That had to Did hurt. Did you see my dog with the staples? I saw your dog with the staples, yeah. but I'm, I'm still looking at your wrist. Wow. And you're asking for $1,200 in pain and suffering. Describe the pain and suffering. Well... One, my arm really did hurt. Right. And uh, it really put me out of commission for about 10 days because I had to take 10 days worth of pills. And mm -hmm. I do have the prescription do, do you to work? prove that. I don't, and it was the summer. No. Okay. I was just, just trying kind of... to think of what I would technically right. do. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, stick to the pain and suffering. You don't get lost more. wages when you're not working. <laughs> my days are worth more than what I put down, but... I agree with you and I'm gonna order him to pay you what you're asking for, which is $1,848, verdict for the plaintiff. Pay the lady. Well, we know you love mama. Step in here. We know you rescued mama from being euthanized and everything, but I think the judge wants to hear you say you understand that this was all your fault because you need to maintain that fence and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. I do. When I come home, I, I have like, Fences behind the fence, in front of the fence, 20 garbage cans in front, nothing can get out. All right, we hope this doesn't happen again. Thank you, sir. All right, so you got every penny you sued for. What's, uh, what's going through your mind here now? I think it was fair mm -hmm. and honest, and I wasn't asking for anything more than what we felt was fair. Did I try to save two pit bulls and I shouldn't have? Maybe, but I'd probably do it again. You made a few mistakes in the whole <laughs> scenario, more than one. I guess. I, mm -hmm. I don't really think of them as mistakes, trying to do the right thing. How's the dog? He's getting better. He's still scarred, but he's getting better. And Lauren's okay, too, I think. Harvey? Uh, this guy is in absolute ridiculous denial. Uh, here's the thing. You have a duty to maintain your fence, and if you don't maintain your fence, I don't care if it's a raccoon or anything else, you are responsible, period. Now we'll do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.